Whoa, I haven't done one of these in ages. So this is my new setup, so yeah, let's get this started. The first unboxing review I'm filming at this place, but if you're watching this in a playlist then it doesn't make much sense. So I realized I have completed a single collection for Super Junior. Uh, well, I did complete the singles before, but I was waiting to get one more photo card, which I got about a year ago. So the singles I'm talking about or the Mary U singles, which are titled as special singles for them, and I usually just call them the second pre-single, U Twins being the first. And of course, Bonamana Japanese is the first real single. But for some reason, these only were just special singles. So, I'm going to show you the CD only version of the single. Then I'm going to show you the CD plus DVD version. And they also have a Mumo version and of course the photo cards at the end. So let's look at the CD only version. They use this strange uh, let's just turn the picture kind of thing they sometimes do for Japanese releases. I don't understand it but I learned to accept it. And here's the spine. It might be sun damaged, I'm just not sure. Then the other spine is, of course, yeah, it did get sun damage. This is a bit more brown colored. Okay, <laughs> so like that. And then if you open it up, well, there's the CD. Nothing behind it, at least. Well, there are some text <laughs> credits, I assume. So the very black CD, even one little dust thingy shows on it. And yeah, it's like I didn't show it like this, but of course it looks like that. Then let's see what's in here. Yeah, so if you take it out, it looks like this, but obviously you need to flip it. There is one more picture. Some lyrics. More lyrics. And there's the back. Oh, there's a number. So how was this? Um, no. Yeah, this is why I don't like it. It's just so much trouble to put it back. I have to think about how to put it back. I don't like to think about things like that. Then, here's the CD plus DVD version. This is actually the back of it, because this is the front of the jewel case. This is also a very strange thing that Japanese singles sometimes do. They use the back as the cover. And here's the track list, of course, and there are the contents of the DVD. Okay, managed to do it, so of course it looks like something like this opened. Then there you get the CD, Ridden Zone, before AVEX was a thing. This is that old. Then here's the gold DVD, and this is the back. Okay, then, if I can take this out, a bit awkward to get this out, okay. So, what is this? Ooh, a long poster with the lyrics on the back, so, here are the lyrics. And, here is, well, a very familiar picture. With Henry Photoshop from... I think there, maybe there, but he was originally on the picture, as we now know. And of course that's what they used as a front, to have the track list on the front. Then lastly, the Mumo version, which is actually the same picture, just, well, it has a darker frame on it, so... Yeah, different. <laughs> but the back is actually quite different, so... That is exciting. It's similar to the poster, but not really, because they're actually standing side by side. And, like... See, like, Kangin and Yesung are next to each other, but here they're like... See? So they're starting from Yesung here, so it's like one picture. 
just repeat it. It's a bit strange, but also pretty cool. Then, of course, there is the spine. Yeah, that actually went pretty smoothly. Yeah, like that. And there is the CD here. Black CD again. Behind it, nothing that interesting. And in here, this is the back of the feedback. Of course, this is the front. Ooh, some signatures. I had this for quite a while. Originally, when I first saw it, I thought this is super hard to get, but for some reason, I actually found it pretty easy. But without a photo card, so. Yeah, that was this one. The Mumo version. Put them like that. Yeah, they actually work out. So the spines together are like this. Obviously, like that. Okay. Then let's see the photo cards, which are jacket cards. So in early Japanese singles, uh, jacket cards were the common thing. And all of these versions, originally as first presses, came with one out of 13. But they are not member jacket cards, except for the case of Shindang. Actually, these pictures, you, you are probably familiar with these pictures. So these are actually a couple pictures. And I have two of them. I have, of course, the ones which came with Donkey's ones, which are the Hemin ones. So here's the close-up version. And here's the heart or far view version. Well, it's only heart for them, so. And they are very plain, simple at the back, so that's normal. And if you're curious how the others look like, well, if you have the CD plus DVD version of uh, Don Don, then you can just open your photo book and you see all the pictures. If you don't, then of course you can watch my unboxing review of the Don Don uh, album for Suju, which is a five-year-old video, so prepare for to cringe. But yeah, it 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 is out there, so. Yeah, you can check out all the pictures and then you know why Shindong has a solo one and the rest has couples because that's how they pair them up. It's a bit strange, but... Mm. So, yeah. I have these two and I'm really happy to have them. Uh, I think, yeah, this one was the one I was waiting to get because I got it with, I think, the CD Plus DVD version. Yeah, well, either the CD only or the CD plus DVD. I think the CD plus DVD got this, and then I was only missing this while I already had all the three versions. So, thank you so much for watching, and you can check out the playlist of the Super Junior unboxing reviews, which is, of course, this video is also included in that playlist. So, thanks for watching. Bye!